Ooh, sneaky, sneaky Amy, right? <laughs> I actually bought it at the same time as my micro bags, which I have unboxed recently, and here they are. So in today's video, I'm gonna unbox the rest of my purchase. Yes, I know, sneaky Amy. That's because they're not in the same category of items, and I feel like I really need to properly style this. Welcome back, everyone. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this type of content. Today we have a little bit of Chanel, we have a little bit of Balmain, so we're gonna style all of these different items, including including the micro bags because I have gotten a few new questions from you guys so having a heat wave so it's very very hot I'm just wearing a silk top because these are probably one of the most breathable things that you can wear around the home it is from La Loras thank you so much for sponsoring today's video yes I have to tell you about this PJ. Yes, it is a PJ, I know, but it looks like a top that you could wear outside. It's the whole reason why I chose it in white because they actually have so many different colors. I use silk in every aspect of my life, in my clothing, uh, when I go to sleep. All my sheets, my duvet, my pillowcases are in silk because it is pretty much the best material that you can wear all year round. They've also sent me some accessories, so I'm wearing one of the little scrunchies here. So they have different size scrunchies, they have the thinner ones. So here are some of the thinner ones that they sent me and they also have the thicker, more traditional classic ones and they sent me a couple of those. So right now I'm wearing the green one which is their thinner one and a couple of silk masks. I have a lot of trouble falling asleep so anything can irritate me so easily so everything has to be soft, comfortable, especially those that don't quite look like just sleepwear. You can pretty much lounge around your house in them because they become loungewear. That's why I chose it in white because if you actually just wore it with some shorts or with some pants, no one would know that they are PJs. Uh, that's not how they advertise it, but that's just how I was thinking about it when I picked it. This company, La Lora's, offers silk pajamas starting at $95 and the shorter versions even cheaper. They ship free worldwide and have a flexible exchange and return policy. There are so many benefits to silk, the material for your skin, for your hair. It's gentle, it's breathable. If you're interested in their PJs or in their silk accessories, definitely check out the links down below. And also I have a coupon code so you guys can use it at check out to save. I think in my last Q&A, one of you asked me if I uh, had plans to buy any more Chanel or Balmain ready to wear and today is your answer. I recently bought this beautiful Balmain denim jacket and it's just so stunning. I have already shown it in um, a private unboxing. So those of you who are part of my membership, channel membership, thank you so much. So you guys would have seen this uh, jacket and would have seen me trying it on uh, and then you guys were throwing ideas at me which is why the sleeves are already all folded up but this is such a beautiful jacket I bought it on Farfetch this jacket I think is sold out at the moment but in case you're interested and in case you can find it I did order mine in the size 34 and just add it to your wish list anyway because uh, it's one of those things when more of them come back in stock even if it's just one or two. I love all the button details on it and the wash on this as well. The button details are really really stunning. Really good quality denim. On the back you have a few studs there as well. This is a relaxed fit denim but still with their signature shoulder statement shoulder pads uh, so it gives you that very squarish almost boyish sort of look. Unless it's very cold, I will probably always keep these sleeves turned up because they're extremely long, but just look at all this detail. The model on the original listing was very tall, had long legs, so not on me, but at the very least, I can still fold them up because they are a bit more casual anyway and I can still wear them like this and it's still really, really nice. You guys might remember this pair of shorts. I have worn them so many different times in my most recent videos. They are also new. I just bought them this summer. They are a pair of frame denim shorts and these, I did get them uh, in size 24 and the reason why I got these is because they match in color. These shorts, I just ended up liking them so much. They are so flattering. It just goes with everything. I can wear this with my Hermes scarf as a top. I can wear this with any of my 
uh, body suits, crop tops, and even with today's shirt, you guys are going to see when I style everything that these shorts are so, so flattering. I'm so glad that I got them. Always exciting to unbox Chanel. So this is not a bag because I already unboxed two micro bags recently. It does come just in tissue, so no box. Curious if any of you guess it right because I've been buying a lot of these in other brands and I don't know, I guess I'm just obsessed with these kind of accessories. Um, so yeah, take a guess down below in the comment section, pause it and let me know. Here it is. <laughs> right guys, how nice is this? Okay, so this is a Chanel hat and it is in their beautiful houndstooth tweed. I think this cap only comes in black and white, so you can either get the more, uh, like, you know, the darker version. So on the day that I picked up this beauty here, this micro bag in the pale lilac, I spotted on my peripheral a couple of hats. So actually it was only one, um, but there were two of these same ones in different sizes. I was completely surprised because my essay knows that I've been after this hat for a long time. I told her about the darker version because I don't know if I've had the picture of this lighter version. Of course, it just came in that day. They were just put on display and one customer already has the other hat on their hands. So I took the other one because I was like, oh my goodness, I've been after this hat for so long. They never have any of these in stock in Vancouver. If they do, it's like literally sold out right away. Basically, I bought it the moment that I saw it. So yes, this is definitely not a summer item and it is so hot today, but I'll still show you how it looks. It is a little loose, but I can still adjust it. This is a size small. Yes, I do have a small head. Uh, in Hermes, I take a 56 and even sometimes, depending on the fabric, the 56 can still be too big. But yeah, this is so cool, right? So now... I have a ton of hats for the fall and winter. I mean, I live in Canada, so it gets cold every year. I will always be able to wear these in the fall season, in the spring season, in the winter season. So it's not like I don't have enough occasions to wear them. Just maybe not right now during a heat wave. Here's another look at the tweed. Like I said, it's a Rev collection. So their classic collection. If your store doesn't have it, they just really don't have it because they don't receive a ton of these accessories unless maybe if you're in Europe then maybe they have more stock but uh, anywhere else I know they just get a handful of these literally the moment you see them you should grab them because uh, they sell out very very fast I was lucky I was right there in front of it literally when I when I was there for this and I, I just knew I had to have it it's definitely a lot pricier than the Hermes versions um almost double the price oh my gosh yeah it's a lot of money and plus with the tweeds i'm sure you guys already know with tweeds you get a lot of these sort of uh little threads all around the hat that might look like they are used or came off but it's not it's just i guess that's just how the fabric is right because these are not tightly woven there is a silver thread throughout it i don't know if you can see but there is a silver thread it's not stock white actually this is kind of like an ivory white i think they call it a cru and it's uh 43 wool 24 percent polyamide 18 percent polyester which makes sense because i think the wool is probably the white part and then the black and the silver part are the synthetic material the inside is cotton and then the outside uh, front logo is in lamb skin so this is lamb skin stitch uh, CC logo in the front but yeah I love the hat I think it will go so well with all my winter outfits or even when it's just a little colder like this item is from Ana Luisa I'm sure you guys are familiar with this brand because a lot of us do work with this brand but this time it wasn't my pick per se this was a gifted item from Ana Luisa on behalf of Karis. So I'm sure you guys all know her, LV Lover CC. Congratulations, babe, on your collaboration with Ana Luisa. It is so beautiful. Mwah. It comes in this beautiful cotton pouch with magnetic closure. It opens like so. And oh my goodness, it is so, so 
pretty. They are just beautiful. They are called the Carries Hoops. And of course, I will link it down below. On how you turn your head, it will actually move. I'm noticing even more details now. So on the backings, there's actually a stamp, like the Ana Luisa stamp on it. And uh, the attention to detail is so pretty. Actually, can you remove the pearl too? Oh yeah, the pearls are completely removable. You can take them out. So you could wear just the hoops on days that you don't feel like a pearl girl. <laughs> but I don't know. I just love the pearl detail on it. I just think that it really adds to the design. So I'm definitely keeping the pearls on them. Imagine the pearls not there if you don't want them, but I don't know why you would want to remove them ever because they are so cute. And there's a stopper behind it that prevents it from coming out of the earrings. So pretty. So congrats again, Karis. They are beautiful and I will link them down below. No one would know that these are actually PJs if you wore some pants on the bottom, right? I can literally go out like this. It's such a beautiful top. Here's the hat again. Another look at it. Like I said, it doesn't really match with the current styling because it's the different season but i just wanted to show you how it looks like on me this is the size small and i adore this hat so size small hat size extra small pjs size 24 frame denim shorts they are a little loose i love this design that uh, it still gives you that flared out look so this is definitely too hot to wear now but just to show you how it looks like, right? So right now I have my sleeves rolled up because like I said, I'm a shorty. I'm only 5'4". Yes, this jacket is already the smallest size, which is a 34. Oh my gosh, all the buttons, all the buttons are tangled. Okay, so this is how I was planning to wear the jacket with the collar propped up because it's so nice like that and open because I love the button details. Of course, you can tell that it is an oversized fit, right? Because there's definitely room for layering. I can wear a hoodie underneath that. The shoulders are very pronounced, uh, much wider than my own shoulders, but it is the right size because it is an oversized fit. And of course, right now I have the sleeves rolled up, but I am showing all the beautiful button details nevertheless. So this is how it looks like. So just to balance out the width of the jacket, I'm wearing heels to elongate my legs and this is definitely a look here are the details again beautiful beautiful shiny buttons and then there are working pockets the sleeves if you do decide to make them full length they will just look like this which is also a look especially if it's really cold outside i really don't care i'm gonna I'm going to wear my hoodie underneath this. I'm going to have my sleeves all out and they will just drape super oversized, hiding my hands even, but it just looks so good together, right guys? What do you think? I love this jacket. together <laughs> okay I guys I know it looks a little silly but honestly I would dress like this I would dress like this in the fall I think it's too good not to could also wear the belt bag underneath Oh, this is so good. This look is really good. All right, guys, I have to remove this jacket. It's too hot, but you guys saw how beautiful it is, right? It's just stunning. Surprisingly, a lot of you loved the boy bag. Actually, I fell in love with this bag first. Um, so yes, you can definitely wear it as a shoulder bag. That was one of the questions. So I have it on the largest setting. There are only three settings. You cannot attach it to the ball. It just is not happening. This clasp here is too thick. So the largest setting is right here. So you could wear it as a little shoulder bag if you wanted to. The other question is whether you could wear it as a crossbody. So I'm gonna show you. 
but you can if you're very thin. So uh, on me, I can wear it as a necklace. Actually, that's a cool way for guys actually to wear this way because uh, I have some male viewers too. And I was told that for such micro size items, it's harder for a guy to uh, pull it off, which I agree unless you wear it as a necklace. And I think it's a super cool statement. Or if you're very petite, you could sort of wear it as a crossbody. Um, but it sits up pretty high. This is okay, especially if you want it to be really close to your body, uh, maybe on your armpit, like you could totally do that. This is definitely safe if you want it even closer to your body, but I wouldn't say that it's a length that is long enough for, in general, either 30 inch, 32 inch, or 34 inch. So I could wear it a little longer too if I wanted to. It just kind of sits on top of my hip bones and just sort of drape diagonally like this. And you can put this ball in your pocket if you don't want to hit you. So yeah, super cute. Love how discreet and close to the body it is. Love how easy it is to get in and out of this. And this chain doesn't move as much. It's not as easy to move this thicker chain. So I feel like it's super secure. It's not going to scratch anything. Um, and plus, I feel like this item is better made. This one was made in France. This one was made in Italy. It is crossbody, so crossbody does give you a bit more option as to how to style it. And I also do love the chain details. But yeah, I can totally make a statement. We're both at the same time. They're just not the same color family, but it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. Right, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I love both. Obviously, these two are more transitional weather, so I'll have to wait till probably end of September to start wearing these because this heat wave is not going anywhere. <laughs> don't forget to check out the La Laura's links down below. I really, really love their beautiful, beautiful, shiny and soft pajamas. Like I said, they do have long versions too. I just wanted the short version as my summer lounge wear and also I'm actually still gonna wear this top out sometimes. I hope they enjoyed this styling video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new again to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please do consider subscribing and especially if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.